Hello, welcome back to a new video. It's been a while. Sorry for that. Wasn't really thinking about making a new video. Didn't have a lot of inspiration and I was a bit busy. Had some setbacks to be honest. So I just wanted to talk you through a bit of the last uh, two weeks. Uh, first, I went to the Netherlands for a few days to see my friends and family for Christmas time. I came back to Switzerland and I was kind of expecting to start a new job. Uh, unfortunately, that didn't happen for reasons that are not very clear to me, but apparently the company had other plans. But I was kind of uh, anticipating on, on that job because I was being told at first that uh, it was only a matter of um, making up the contract. So I was a bit disappointed honestly. Um, yeah, that got me a bit into a dark mood over the last uh, week or so. I had a friend over for New Year's and then the f days leading up to New Year's, so for four days. And he was here with his kids and that was really nice. We had a good time, we went snowboarding and played board games, just chilling at the fire in the chalet of uh, Julie's father. And then on the 1st of January he left and I was already feeling a bit uh, physically ill at that time. This was on the 1st of January. I had a really sore throat, a headache. And I got pretty sick later that day. Yesterday on the 2nd I was still quite sick. But we had to move out of our house into a smaller apartment 50 meters away. That's where I am right now. This is the apartment of uh, Julie's aunt and her sister. And we are gonna live here for approximately three months until our house is uh, renovated for the most part. So we're gonna get a new uh, floor, I guess, with floor heating new ceiling because it's super noisy and not isolated so we're heating for the neighbors above actually all the heat is lost the window same story everything is old and cold the bathroom I'm probably gonna have to do something about that myself and the uh, kitchen as well I think I'm gonna do that myself so hopefully we have a new uh, renovated house in three months this apartment's pretty fine, but yeah, it took us a day to move all of our stuff in. Some stuff we moved it into our basement cellar. Still a bit tired and uh, not feeling too good, but I'm gonna go out for a hike. Just like I always do. And the weather is a bit uh, foggy, cloudy, rainy. But let's see. I think I'm gonna drive up the valley in the area around uh, Dans Blanche. I'll show you where we live now and where we used to live before and where we're gonna live again when it's renovated. It's really close to each other. It's funny how small this village actually is. So this is where our house is. And this is where our new little house is. Small, but cute. We sleep in there. 
I'll close her in here. A little kitchen and a bathroom. All you need. Hiked uh, till around 2,000 meters, right above the tree line. Yeah, there's some snow here, but 2,000 meters is pretty high for January to be uh, snowy. So it's kind of sad to see that walking up. Makes the walking easier though. I'm uh, just walking on my hiking boots, which is fine. I'm using the sticks. On the icy parts because there's some frozen parts that are super slippery but uh, yeah I walked up for about an hour I'm uh, close to the Verpecle glacier from my first episode I'm looking at the Dame Blanche from here too super beautiful like this uh, kind of weather it's a bit cloudy but a bit sunny in between and the light is beautiful on the white uh, peaks of the mountains I'm gonna fly the drone up to uh, try some new stuff like a uh, hyperlapse never done that have a drink have some food then I'm going down again still feeling pretty weak so cannot push it too much but it's uh, good to be outside. It's been a while since I did a hike actually. And it's super quiet today. So uh, yeah, just gonna enjoy it.
so I'm testing a new feature of the drone, the hyperlapse, with cruise control. So as you can see maybe here it says cruise control in use. The drone is now taking a photo every uh, three seconds and uh, it does that for like 13 minutes. So in the end you end up with a video of 10 seconds filmed over 13 minutes. So you can speed it up sort of and that could give like a really nice movement of clouds or whatever. So now I'm just gonna have breakfast while the drone takes photos for another 12 minutes. The other day I tried to do the same, but the drone only had around 40% battery. So that means it can fly for maybe 8 minutes. So that wasn't really enough to make a good hyperlapse. So I charged the batteries, walked up a mountain a little bit. Just trying again. drone is somewhere up there pretty beautiful conditions as you can see going for the third hyperlapse six minutes left but I'm enjoying the surroundings was behind this mountain yesterday When I came back to Hermans, it was super foggy. But here uh, today, it's clearing up. This morning it was cloudy too. And supposedly it's gonna snow on Sunday, maybe Monday. So that will be nice for the slopes. I might give it a try actually later today. Waiting on a drone to finish, then I'm heading back home. And I'm gonna do some more studying into uh, water housings because I'm looking to buy one for this camera I'm filming with now. But they're rather expensive, I know that. The cheapest option is around 1000 The more expensive ones, over 2000 So It always has to be worth the investment, of course. So I'm just checking YouTube for reviews and stuff. A lot of jet fighters today. Hope they don't mind the drone.
never seen that mushrooms growing out of the cabin. I don't know what type they are. Look a bit like chicken of the woods, but it's not chicken of the woods. Beautiful.